Hi there, I'm Bryce Offenberger, representing Offenberger Muay Thai here at the University of Manitoba. Uh, today what I'm going to be doing is giving you a brief taste of what Muay Thai essentially involves. Some of the uh, differences between that of kickboxing and, and boxing and the like. And I'm going to show you some basic techniques, two punches, an elbowing technique, and a knee technique that we're then going to utilize for some drills. Now these drills that we're going to do are going to be very reminiscent to what we would do in class. So it'll be a little bit um, similar with some shadow boxing oriented elements as well as some exercises. And then following that, we're going to do a more, slightly more intense workout to finish before we warm down with a little bit of technique. So in, in, it's in, yeah, in its entirety, we're looking at roughly uh, 30 minutes of exercising here. And for the most part, although Muay Thai is quite intense and the exercising and routines we do can be quite intense, I'm going to scale things back a little bit so that way it's quite approachable for anyone who is uh, wanting to take part. For those that do want to scale up the intensity, I'll leave some extra elements where you can explore those avenues, but for the most part, I'm looking to go for a little bit less intense uh, regimen for today. So to begin things off, we're going to set ourselves up with a very basic stance. And although I would say very much that I'm more of a technician, so it pains me to have to scale things back a little bit, I will try my best as well as slowing down how fast I talk so that way you can all understand me. So what I'd like you all to do is first and foremost, get yourselves into a stance. If you're right-handed, generally speaking, more people are comfortable with their left foot forward. However, if you're left-handed, you just reverse that, putting your left foot forward. In terms of the uh, differentiation between the weights on the left or the right leg, try to put a majority to your rear, but at the same time, you don't want to have yourself sort of splayed out really wide. You want to be nice and balanced. That's a big, big component here and, uh, and nice and relaxed. You don't want to be really tense, just nice and relaxed. So within our stance here, as indicated, I'm gonna show you first and foremost, two punches and some very basic components behind them that you can incorporate as you practice them. So the first punch that we're going to learn is going to be the jab. And the jab is always done with our lead hand. It is a linear punch operating in a straight line. And I'm gonna show you some basic ways to turn it from just throwing a basic punch to getting a little bit more out of it. So with that in mind, the first thing we always wanna do whenever we're throwing a punch is incorporate our legs and our entire core. Very poor boxing or striking will only integrate the limb in question, which is not what you want to do. You want to bring your whole body into the equation, which is also why Muay Thai and similar martial arts are very intense because you're always using your whole body like you're holding a plank the entire time and, and doing all sorts of crazy things. So when we're throwing our jab, what we're going to do is we're going to work on pivoting and incorporating the power plant that is our hips to rotate over. So don't worry about your hands just yet, but really try to focus on that rotational uh, component. As a result of that, you're gonna see some weight change. So you see the weight kind of go off my lead leg towards my rear. But for the most part, just focus on that rotation, okay? With our arm back into the equation to throw this punch, very simple. All I'm gonna ask you to do is try to slide your hand down like it's going into a pipe. So right down the middle. Do not punch like this, okay? But rather with your arm going down a pipe just like that. So you can see my rotation and then my arm just becomes a punctuation point of all that uh, energy generated from the centrifuge of my core. Okay, so there's your jab, your first little punch. Rotate and put that arm right down the pipe. Okay, as long as you can accomplish that, good enough. The other punch that we're gonna do is what's referred to as the cross, always delivered with your rear hand. It's a bit more of a power punch because you've got more space to generate energy, develop that energy, and then punctuate that energy. But the mechanics are relatively similar. We're once again gonna focus on rotation, getting our power plant of our hips and our core into that, uh, into that equation. And naturally, you can notice by your rear leg, if you can see it, will result in a, in a pivot on the ball of the foot so that my hips can really get ingrained. So that's why I said earlier to be nice and balanced. So that way when you're throwing one punch to the next, you're nice and stable and able to draw up a lot of the energy from the ground as well as your whole core. So going back into the punch itself, all we're gonna do is much like the jab, is have that punch go straight down the middle like it's reaching through a pipe, okay? So right down, just like that. And the side profile, as you twist, just have that hand twist all the way down. So that way on its fullest, most longest extension, you'll essentially see that your thumb will be in more of a down position as you uh, deliver the strike. So from the top there, our jab and then the cross, okay? If you forget the names or anything, not too important, but if you can just work those two punches, you've got a good structure to start with. Now the next techniques we're going to do, is going to be one more hand technique and then a leg technique that we're going to, as I said, incorporate into our drill afterwards. So the next one is going to be an elbow strike. And this is where we're gonna definitely start to uh, diversify our attacks from that of maybe some more um, conventional arts like boxing 
In Muay Thai, we not only have punches and kicks, but we also utilize our knees and our elbows and clenching to generate leverage and power and utilize our tool set in a wide variety of ways. So with our elbowing technique for today, and a lot of different elbow techniques are available, all we're going to work on doing here is constructing a relatively parallel to the floor horizontal strike. And here's what you're gonna do. Very simple, same mechanics as the punches and working on rotating that core so you keep your core nice and compact and rotate it. When our arm comes into that equation, all we're going to do is much like we're trying to slash through, we're gonna allow this elbow to come right across into the target zone of, of the head or that rough area. Now one extra thing you're gonna notice when I'm throwing my, uh, my elbows and where some individuals just learning can make mistakes is that they'll keep their hand very rigid, very tight, and as I go to throw the elbow, it kind of runs into them. So you'll notice that when I'm throwing my elbow technique, how I let my hand be very relaxed, so that way the entirety of my limb can be a little more speedy, a little more relaxed on its delivery, but you're also noticing that I'm folding my hand in. This is going to give me not just more of a relaxed stature, but a greater ability to operate in a closer proximity to my opponent. So from here, just rotating through, and as you can see, I cultivate a nice parallel to the floor, horizontal trajectory into that jaw region. So again, from the rear side, pivoting over and contacting in with that elbow. If it was done from the lead side, same dynamics. We rotate the end or the hand and arm, fold right in, slashing right across. So let's do all three of those together. So you've got your jab, you've got your cross, and then you've got a basic elbow technique, okay? That's good enough. If you can just remember those two punches, and if you'd like to dabble into the elbows, you can also incorporate that as well. But the last technique I want to, uh, to run through with you all is the delivery of a knee. Now once again, there's a lot of different knees that we have. There's 45 different ways to pet a cat. So when we look into different techniques, it's definitely going to be applicable when we deliver our knee strikes. So very basic long knee delivery that I'm gonna show you here. I'm gonna to try to boil it down to a few little axioms that you can try to remember. The first of which is that whenever we're throwing our knee, we wanna generate some momentum forward. And I'm gonna do that not by stepping away, by pushing with my rear leg. So from back here, I'll drive forward, and as you can notice, my lead leg will accommodate for that momentum by stepping forward into the target. Secondly, aside from the momentum, is being on the ball of my foot. If my heel is down, I'm gonna have a lot harder time ingraining my hips into the equation, so by staying on the ball of the feet, it'll give you a little more balance, a little more of a capacity to actually deliver the knee. Now the last thing I want you to really focus on here as we go deliver this knee strike into the target, is to simply point your toes down. If you can point your toes down from your kneeing leg, it'll kind of autopilot the strike into the target with a better trajectory. If you don't, and you have your toes up, which isn't too much of a problem for today, but if you don't, what's gonna happen is it's gonna follow your hip joint and knee yourself right in the nipples, okay? So we're not trying to knee ourselves right in the chin and the nipples here. What we're trying to do is knee into the target. So by pointing your toes down, being on that ball of the foot, we can drive that knee strike right into the target with a nice pendulum-like diagonal angle into the, uh, into the abdomen of our opponent or into the, uh, the air as we're shadow boxing these out. So with those in mind, those four techniques, practice them just for a little bit here, for 15 seconds. Get familiar of what you're asking your body to do as you're delivering these techniques. So that way, as we're utilizing them, it's not too much of a surprise, okay? Now, if you wanted to deliver a knee with the left leg or your lead leg, a lot of ways you can do it, but just for basic uh, circumstances here, you can switch your stance, so you can just switch and then throw the knee from that side, or what you can do is just take a step. So if I'm asking to throw a knee, you can just step forward and throw that knee, and that's, that's cool beams, okay? So, we've got our four techniques. Next up, what we're gonna do is incorporate them into a little bit of a drill. Now, what we're gonna do here <coughs> is when I call out a number or specific technique, you're just gonna throw it. So if I say the number one or two or three or four, I just want you to throw that many number of techniques, okay? Once you've thrown them, just go back to your stance. You can either just hold your positioning or skip on the spot, okay? So the first round, just getting used to all these new motions, all right? So we're gonna get started here, about two minutes on the clock, and all we're gonna do is, as I said, practice those techniques, okay? So let's do it. One, one. Two, two, three, one, five, one, three, two, 
two, two, one, three, two, four, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, two, three, four, and five. Good, okay. Catch your breath for a little bit, shake it out. Now that you're a little bit used to it, we're gonna wrap it up a little bit next. So, for the second round, similar idea. We're gonna work through the techniques, but this time what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a knee strike to the end of whatever it is I called up. So, if I say a two, you're gonna throw two hands, and then add the knee strike. Whatever you wanna use for your hands, totally fine. I don't care what punches you use, if you happen to other punches, you can use those as well. But no matter what I call out, throw a knee strike at the very end. Okay? So here we go. Round number two. One. Three. Two. One. Three. I just recalled I just cheated and forgot my own knee. One. Two, three, two, two, seven, two, three. One, two, three, one, four, two, three, two. with either side, okay? If you find this isn't challenging enough, and you'd like a little more challenge, instead of throwing one knee, throw a double, or a triple, or whatever it is that you can manage, okay? So, once again, call a number, throw those techniques. If I call left or right, throw a knee with that side. So, for this round, you don't have to add a knee at the very end. I say the number seven, just throw any seven techniques. But if I say left, or two, and a right, you throw two techniques, and then you throw the right knee afterwards, okay? So using the whole body, here we go. Third round, all right. Two, one, three, one, two, right, left, two, two, Right, hush. right, hush. right, hush. left, hush. left. 
left and a right. Two. One. Right. Three. Left. Right. Right and a right. Right and a right and a left. Two and a right. Three and a right. Two. Two. Three. Left. Good. Getting the hang of it? Okay. We're going a little faster now. We're gonna go for about 45 more seconds here. A little faster to finish it off, okay? Here we go. Whenever I say right or left, let's try to do a double knee, shall we? Right. Two. Two. Three. Left. Left and right. Two. Two. Ten. Left. Right and left. Two. One. 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 Right. Left. And four. Time. Okay. Good job. Quick drink of water again if you need it. Next up, we're going to work into a bit of a workout here. A little bit harder. I ain't too scary though. More tax from talking so loud than any of the exercise. All right. So the next drill we're going to do, I think too complicated. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to transition between one or two positions. From the push up, if I say down, you go into the down push up position. If I say up, you go back to the up position. That's it. So we'll start in the up position. I say down, you hold down. I say up, you go back up. And then try to keep up as we're going back and forth. Okay? Let's do this rascal, shall we? So starting from the up position, we're gonna throw some, uh, some abs in between two, give your arms a break, and hopefully you enjoy this one. So here we go. Down. Up. Down, up, down. Up. Down, up. Down. Just keep holding. Up. Down, up. Down, up. Down. Up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. And flip over on your backs. Ab exercises, anything you want to do. Anything you want to do with your abs. Catch your breath a little bit. Give your arms a brief rest. Five more seconds. And flip back over. Holding the up position. Down. Up. Down. Keep holding. Hopefully having a good day. Up. Down. 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 Up. And flip over on your back. Abs again. Anything that you want. Just ease your breathing. Just relax that heart rate. Ten seconds. Flip back over. One last set. And down. Up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and time. All right. Good job. So a little brief uh, bit of exercising, a little bit of a warm up, a little bit of a way to work your arms in a more compressed uh, facet or fashion. 
What we're going to do next is to warm down a little bit. It's just for a couple of minutes. We're going to go through a couple of those techniques to get a little bit more out of the technique uh, oriented within this lesson today. So here's what we're going to do. Starting off with those four techniques that we have, we're going to utilize them in a couple different ways. The first way that we're going to do is we're going to throw a double jab, cross, rear elbow, rear knee. Okay? I'll walk you through that. So double jab, we throw the first jab, retract your hip, coming into the second jab, then we go into the cross, from here, bring the shoulder and the hip back again, into the elbow, again reset your hip, that's our power plant, we need to make sure we always reset it when possible, and then go in for your knee strike. So, from the top, jab, jab, cross, elbow, knee. Good, again, jab, jab, cross, elbow, knee strike. One more time, shall we? Good. One more combination. We're going to do a right elbow, left elbow, right knee, left knee. Okay? Working in a very close proximity, you can envision that your opponent is right in front of you. Hit with the first elbow, hit with the second elbow, grab a hold if possible, right knee in, adjust your footwork, left knee in for the finish. Okay? So, right elbow, left elbow, right knee in, come down, create space with your other leg, left knee, okay? Elbow, elbow, knee, knee. All right, one more time. Elbow, elbow, knee, knee. Okay, awesome, all right. That's all the time we have for today. Hope you had some fun, hope you had a bit of a good sweat. Hopefully you'd like to learn some more when we die, but uh, for now, that's it. All right, have a great day. Bye.